Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, I know that uploads on the channel have been infrequent recently. I'm gonna try getting back to my groove. It's just things have been pretty busy. Uh, however, today I wanted to make a special little video. Uh, this is not something I've ever done. I haven't done a video similar to this. Uh, but today we're going to talk about uh, YouTube analytics and I'm gonna show you what uh, the analytics looks like for a channel such as mine you might be asking why I'm doing this the reason is that honestly for the past I don't know how many years I've never really paid attention to the YouTube analytics I always kind of just sort of dismissed them didn't pay attention to them but I've recently watched quite a few videos on the topic and since I'm making it my goal to grow a little bit this year or try to grow uh, basically, the conclusion I came to is that I really should be paying attention to analytics. You should be able to just see my dog right there who's chewing on a toy. Uh, but yeah, so paying attention to analytics is important. And since my growth kind of thing, I should also be looking at the analytics. And I'm going to really be sort of trying to take the analytics tips into account for like the next couple of months. And I'm probably eventually going to do a follow-up video to find out if any of the things I've gleaned from the analytics actually made a difference. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, so this is the kind of main analytics dashboard. Again, for people who are not YouTubers who are watching this, uh, you probably don't have access to this. Uh, I think you need to have a thousand subscribers to gain access to this. Something, something like that. So you have basically a built-in sort of subscriber counter here, view counter for the last 48 hours, uh, pretty interesting on when I'm getting the most views. Uh, interestingly, 6 and 7 a.m. today and 10 to 12 last night. They, like these times kind of make sense, but this one is a bit of an outlier. Um, yeah, 3000 views. However, the main sort of important thing here is this, your little overview. So I have gained 55.6 thousand views uh, the last month. Yeah, 55,620 specifically in December. As you can see, I had high views December last year as well. And you can kind of see uh, things like bobbing and weaving throughout the year, generally dropping. One of the reasons you guys know the uh, things that were going on, <laughs> my dog is messing with the chair. <laughs> cool. Well, this is going to be an interesting video. Hold on. I'm going to try to get like a different view of this. I'm not going to be able to because as soon as I got my little camera out, he decided to fuck off. So, okay, let's move on. So yeah, you guys know that uh, this year was not like the best year uh, in terms of like personal life so obviously i had less uploads uh, throughout the year especially like summertime and all that so there were low views like see i only uploaded nine videos in like september and october and all that plus i had the puppy at that time and all that however things are looking up my views are up my watch time is up watch time is really the most important metric uh because uh, that's what YouTube measures. It's one of the things that YouTube measures, whether you can keep your monetization and all that. I've gained 83 subscribers. Uh, see, that one, actually, that's a huge improvement compared to last month. Not so much, but you see that the amount of subscribers I've gained per month was very low. And that's one of the things I definitely want to improve on uh, this year because the subscriber slowdown was really the big thing. Uh, that I noticed on my channel Revenue went up because more people saw ads on your videos completely makes sense uh, as you guys probably know I've made it sort of a, a Rule to put at least a couple of mid-roll ads in my videos. It's not something I've done before I've always done just like at the start and at the end uh, things but then when you think about it if I upload like a 27 to 35 minute video I think there should be more ads on it especially since you know YouTube sort of highlights the shorter videos like the 10 15 minutes video like the 10 15 minute videos so if I have a 30 minute video 
which will definitely not get as much engagement, I can compensate for that by having more uh, ads. This is what's interesting, I think. The top videos in this period, uh, the ultimate pyromancer guide is still bopping, even though it was uploaded in 2018. Obviously, the ultimate guides, again, those are, those are the shit. Uh, the ultimate sorcerer guide, Interestingly, Dark Souls 3 Pyromancer Guide, which I didn't even fucking finish. These these people will be disappointed uh, uh, when they when they get like a, a couple of dozen episodes in. But uh, yeah, this is again not really surprising. Uh, you guys know I know that the ultimate guides are sort of the main thing on my channel, uh, so. Yeah, not really a surprise. And this is the tab where we get to like the metrics I want to improve on. Here's how YouTube works, basically. Uh, for every 100 views you get, YouTube gives you roughly seven times the amount of impressions. So what impressions is, is your video showing up in people's like recommended, uh, like in the sidebar for other videos, like home page and all that. So that those are all impressions. And you get, again, the more views you get, the more impressions you get. I have pretty good impressions. Um, let's see, this is how many times your thumbnails were shown to viewers, uh, where I am fucking suffering and I'm not doing well, is my impression click-through rate. This metric shows you how, what, like what percentage of people who saw all these impressions actually clicked on my video. That's 7.3%. That is pretty low. That is pretty damn low. And as you can see, it has been low for quite a long time, to say the least. Uh, this is one of the things I really want to improve on. I need to bump up my click-through impression rate, which will lead to more viewers. Uh, it will increase these metrics, so views, and unique viewers especially. So this is the metric you want for getting like new viewers and subscribers. I'm really interested to see if we go back to like a year, what my impression click-through rate was. Uh, interestingly, last year it wasn't that good. It, I mean, technically that's last year, so uh, let's go back even further. I'm really curious. Yeah, as you can see, like, holy shit, what the hell happened? So this has not been available all the time. Uh, there's no data for like 2014, but what the hell happened? Is this when Sekiro came out? Oh, no, no, this is when Mortal Kombat 11 came out. But as you can see, uh, my impression click through has always been sort of not the best. I think this should hover at like 8 to 10 percent. That's the ideal. Uh, and I've not really been able to reach that. Okay, let's look at some of these other metrics. This is pretty interesting as well, my traffic data sources. So playlists account for a large percentage of my views, an overwhelming Percentage. Next up is suggested videos, which is the reason why this needs to improve so that this gets better. And then we have the YouTube search, playlist page, browse features, etc. etc. Uh, we can also see that we have 29k views from impressions, which is not bad. Uh, external traffic source, which is crazy that we even have external traffic source. Uh, that is kind of insane. Okay, let's have a little bit of a look at engagement. And again, this is an area I really want to improve at. Even though the watch time in hours has been higher for this month, the average view duration has been lower than usual, down by 5%. So this is on average how long people view your video. Uh, that is not good. If I upload a 30 minute video and the average view duration is seven minutes and 39 seconds, I need to improve on that. Okay, let's have a little look at an actual video. Uh, this Will I Start Streaming Again got high views because I kind of clickbaited. Uh, and we can go into the individual analytics. 
180 views, which is higher than usual. However, the most important thing is to take a look at the engagement. As you can see, this is this video had an average view duration of two minutes and 57 seconds, which is high. Uh, but this is an eight minute video. So, uh, you know, as you, as I said, shorter videos tend to get higher average view duration. But this is the really interesting thing. As you can see, I'm down to 64% of viewers at uh, 30 seconds. Some people leave immediately uh, and then 64% are staying and that just kind of slowly drops uh, down to 20%. This is still above typical. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's kind of crazy. And this is not just a thing on my channel. This is for every channel. An overwhelming majority of people who click on a YouTube video drop off very, very quickly. And that's kind of crazy when you think about it. And then finally, let's have a look at our audience. These are the other channels you guys are watching. Uh, nothing really surprising here. Lots of Dark Souls YouTubers. These are some of the videos you guys liked. I think, again, makes sense. Elden Ring stuff, Dark Souls, Vati, all that shit completely within expectations for the channel. This is what is interesting though. This is when you guys are most active. Uh, this is one of the areas I'm gonna try improving in. Uh, so I'm going to adjust my upload times in the future a little bit more to fit these timelines. As you can see, most of you guys are active at around the 6 p.m. mark. Uh, this is my time zone, Central European time. So I'm going to change my uploads a little bit. I usually upload fairly late, uh, but I'm going to uh, change this a little bit. So you guys immediately have my videos um, in your sort of inbox or your YouTube homepage when you log in. Uh, it does say that publish time is not known to directly affect long term performance of a video, but that is long term. That's important to think about. Sunday is the outlier. Uh, I mean, Thursday and Friday, interestingly, are outliers, which is 5 p.m. for you guys. So that is something to consider as well. And I'm still within the time zone, as you can see, because 8 p.m. is very active as well. But I think setting my upload time a little bit earlier is going to be cool. Interestingly, only 7.8% uh, have the all notifications for my channel. And only 4% have enabled YouTube notifications. So I can only stress this again. Guys, if you want to stay up to date on my content, make sure to turn on post notifications and the YouTube notifications to always stay up to date when I'm uploading something on my channel. Interestingly though, a large portion of my views still comes from people who are not subscribed. So if you're new here, subscribe. And of course, the classic Dark Souls YouTuber slash gamer metric, 99% male, 1% female. The 1% female, shout out to you. Um, I see you all as well. Thank you for watching these videos. Okay, and that about wraps it up. So, what have we kind of learned? Uh, one, I need to adjust my upload times. Second, thumbnails. One of the big takeaways I got from this is that my thumbnails are not interesting. And that is something I've really been sort of looking into. Having more interesting thumbnails is very critical to a YouTube channel. And it's really the most critical thing to drive up the impression click through rate. So definitely I'm going to thumbnail school. I'm taking a thumbnail degree and my thumbnails are going to be way, way better in the future, if I can manage. I think my dog is back. Is he? Yes, he is. Hello, 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 hello. I don't know how much you can see from him because I can't actually see what I'm recording, but whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little look into what a YouTuber of my size sees with his analytics. Again, I'm going to try applying this and we'll see what happens. I'm going to go now because it's fucking getting dark outside. Again, uh, I'm going to look like a ghost here on the video. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.